Sir John Everett Millay was an English painter and illustrator who was born on June 8, 1829 in Southampton, United Kingdom. He passed away on August 13, 1896, but his artistic legacy continues to inspire many to this day. Millay was a prominent artist during the Romanticism and Realism movements, and he produced works that were characterized by vibrant colors and attention to detail. He was one of the founders of the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood, a group of English painters who sought to reject the jaded conventions of Victorian art and embrace a more naturalistic approach to painting. Millet was heavily influenced by the works of Ambrogio Lorenzetti and Paolo Veneziano, who were famous Italian painters from the 14th century. He was also a close friend and collaborator of William Holman Hunt, another Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood member. As an artist and member of the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood, Millet brought a new perspective to art in England. His artistic contributions were not limited to painting, as he also worked on illustrations for novels and magazines, and his work had a significant influence on the development of British graphic design. Millet was interested in portraying human emotions in his paintings, and his work often reflected his own personal experiences. His legacy as a founder of the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood, as well as his contributions to the field of painting and illustration, have cemented his place in British art history. John Everett Millay was a child prodigy and entered the Royal Academy schools at the age of 11, becoming the youngest student to do so. He is best known as the most famous exponent of the Pre-Raphaelite style. His painting Christ in the house of his parents generated controversial discussions. In the mid-1850s, Millay moved away from the Pre-Raphaelite style and developed a powerful form of realism in his art, which catapulted him to become one of the wealthiest artists of his day. He created dense and elaborate pictorial surfaces based on the integration of naturalistic elements, which led some people to view his later production as wanting. However, in recent decades, his later works have come to be seen in a broader context of wider changes and advanced tendencies in the late 19th century art world. Millet's personal life played a significant role in his reputation. His wife, Effie, was formerly married to the critic John Ruskin, who had supported Millet's work in its early stages. Effie became a powerful promoter of Millet's work and they worked together to secure commissions and expand their social and intellectual circles. Millet achieved popular success with many of his later works such as A Huguenot, which depicts a young couple separated by religious conflicts. However, some former admirers, including William Morris, saw his later work as a sellout after he allowed his paintings to be used for sentimental soap advertisements. Despite the controversies and criticisms, Millet continued to produce art till his last days. His mother was the most powerful influence on his early life, developing and encouraging his artistic talent from a young age. He met William Holman Hunt and Dante Gabriel Rossetti while studying at the Royal Academy Schools, with whom he founded the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood. He spent most of his early childhood in Jersey, which he remained devoted to throughout his life. Millet painted Mariana in 1850 to 51 based on the play Measure for Measure by William Shakespeare. He continued to paint portraits, landscapes, and historical scenes throughout his career. Millet passed away on August 13, 1896, leaving behind an enormous artistic legacy. In conclusion, John Everett Millet's artistic contributions have had a profound impact on the art world, and his work as a founder of the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood has cemented his place in British art history. As a child prodigy, he entered the Royal Academy at a young age and became known as the most famous exponent of the Pre-Raphaelite style. He brought a new perspective to art in England by rejecting the conventions of Victorian art and embracing a more naturalistic approach to painting, as well as contributing to the development of British graphic design. His vibrant colors and attention to detail continue to inspire many to this day. Despite some criticisms and controversies, Millet continued to create art until his last days, leaving behind an enormous artistic legacy.